like said, dude, false finishes. And GWJ. There were so many, like, he kicked out at two. Oh, yeah! That, like, that was that was the entire last two minutes of that game. A <laughs> match worthy for pay per view, but man, you're gonna have to deal with the Rob now. And they're just GWJ. not letting up. They're just they're just sending jetpack right jetpack into it. Yeah, no, there's no time for uh. It's true. It is almost 1 a.m. <laughs> oh no God. rest for the weary, man. I mean, hey, I'm amped up. I don't know how I'm gonna sleep. We have NEC 19 in just a few hours. My heart is pounding. Oh, oh no! Oh, and Jet, that's not the way that he wanted to start things off. Yeah. But frankly, I mean, how do you come back from a set like that? I mean, you've got your adrenaline going. Your your heart must be pounding out of your chest if you're Jet. And GWJ is stoic as ever. Yeah. One of the smarter players in the city of Philadelphia, yeah. or Allentown for that matter. Yeah. For starters, thank your lucky stars that this is best of five. Yeah. Because. Oh, oh my God. I mean, he. If, he He's, th if, he's thankful that the last set was yeah. best of five too. Otherwise, he would have been gone. Yeah. That was a reverse 3-0. It was. And it, but but like, if you lose this first game because GWJ has been like sitting pretty for the last couple of minutes, um, if you lose this first game, it's not the end of the world. Whereas it might be in a best of three. Yeah. No, you're absolutely right. right. I mean, it's the end of your tournament. Pretty much. Yeah. Like this. If this game ends up being the cold shower that Jet needs to get, like, to get it back into the set, then I think it's a much easier trade to make that in a best of five than a best of three. GWJ looking to hit a few rainmakers of his own, but uh, couldn't counter the lariat's clotheslines being thrown out by Jet. Yeah, Jet. I mean, okay. Yeah, There's controlling the stage with expertise, the likes of which we have not seen from it's Jet so, before. For, it's so scary for Rob to like, Rob is fine when he's like so far above the stage because there's nothing that Incineroar can really do to even get up there. But like, like you have to choose how you're going to land and like when and where and how you're going to get back to the stage. Ooh. Oh, that was so s Beautiful oh. tech! Oh. And then that's... That was dirty. You ever seen a robot throw out a dropkick clam hat? Because wow. that was beautiful from GWJ. And as we're preparing for NEC 19, GWJ ostensibly the number one seed in the tournament. Yep. Proving, uh, to sh he's just showing why he's one of the stronger competitors in the field and one of the favorites indeed yeah. to take home that $1,000 pot bonus. Yeah. And wow. now, game number two, Pokemon one. Stadium 2. Good game, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. We're getting set here, that neutral air coming out once again. And it's, that's basically a frame eight move. Like, out of shield, that's crazy. And, and let's just talk about Jet for a second because he's not just... <laughs> I would love to talk about Jet for a second, please. No, and the thing, I mean, it might as well. He's playing. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, it, it wouldn't be really opportune time to be talking about, like, Infinite Omega or something like no, that. No, as no, no. As cool as he is, and I yeah. love him on commentary. But, yeah. uh, regardless of that, I mean, he's playing a very good defensive game, too. He's a very underrated part because we're seeing yeah. all the highlight moves. We're seeing all the clotheslines and the lariats and the suplexes, but at the same time, we're also seeing him play a very smart game yeah. as well. Pulling out those shields and defensively right when he needs them, and of course his DI tech yeah. as well. Like, I love that you can see exactly how good players are DI'ing because you can see where they are in the little, ra like, the radar. Um, but yeah, like, Incineroar is a character who can die, to, like, who can get gimped at, like, 20% from any character, but his recovery and his DI are so, uh, oh. so, as I say that, but like his recovery most of the time and his DI are so impeccable that he's routinely living, living to like 170, 180, 200% on these stocks. And now it's, uh, could that be the difference in this game? It certainly was the difference in the last set. Oh, wow. We saw him sitting up to 200% before, uh, before inevitably took home that uh, that best of five set against 6WX, yep. which is so amazing. And if you haven't seen that VOD, youtube.com slash clash tournaments, down smash coming out from GWJ. Right. 
Okay. The grab once again. Hey, you know what? You're not the only character that can grab Incineroar. Yep. Battle of heavies here. Oh, oh, Bale's on the. Yeah, it's 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 still kind of a risky timing to go for that for that uh, clothesline. And all of a sudden, he could be looking down the barrel of a three stock. And I said game one, it's okay for game one to be the cold shower, but going down 0-2 again is not fun, like, especially against a character that can choke you out like Rob. Yeah. On, and like a player like GWJ for whom Rob is such a good comfort. Player. Giant swing so coming out he just and said, eventually. He just said Cineroar so many times in like three seconds. Like Cineroar, Cineroar, Cineroar. Yeah. I mean, he's still, he's still, it's that still is doing his, it. Yeah. I mean, it's almost like it's his name or something. Yeah. It's weird. One, <laughs> you can, the mind boggles, folks. Yeah. EWJ. And I mean, like a, a Pokemon named a Pokemon named Incineroar says Incineroar a lot. You can't explain that. Yeah. Film at eleven. Ah. And the bit. Oh. That yeah. gimp. That's that. That's something that Rob can do. Like Rob can make it back, and Incineroar cannot. And that's another two stock victory for GWJ. Yeah. And frankly, I mean, these are two characters that I mean, let's face it, speed is not their best quality. No. But it's really GWJ and Rob, how they slow down the pace of the game that exactly. I feel like Jet is having trouble exactly. negotiating. Here. Because um because like even it's it's ironic that like um Incineroar probably like in some in some aspects might even prefer the Sonic matchup to the Rob matchup because at least Sonic has to come to him yeah. at some point. Like Rob can just like you know Rob can sit half a stage away and nickel and dime him with lasers and gyros for three minutes. Incineroar does not have the speed to close down no, that gap very no. quickly. Like, like GWJ has, can react. He has neutral B to go through projectiles, but like it's not it's not a perfect solution by any stretch. Not even close. And now when you have uh, this Incineroar, I mean, having trouble negotiating, sitting at 100% already again with the aid of those lasers and gyros, yeah. as you mentioned, what does Jet do to uh, to counteract this? Um, he's gonna have to like he's gonna have to use platforms to uh, to like try and like like jump through this wall or like find the find the cracks and find the cracks in this wall that GWJ is setting up. Um, and he's gonna have to DI for his life because GWJ is finding all the hits that he wants. Yeah, and punishing and the landing as well with yeah, the down smash. Yeah, he's got he's like he's got the perfect answer for that. For the side B on stage, you're, you're eating a down smash every time, no matter which side of him you land on. And looking for the uh, looking for a birth in grand finals. Okay. Looking for a shot of revenge against Shoyo James. We text, text those that. in Philadelphia. Yeah. And that oh, he fails can, again with the with the. He's got to hit you that. Call yeah, it. He takes two up airs already for that. Three, three up airs because he missed it. That's percent that he cannot afford to take. Really, uh, Rose by any other name uh, stings just as hard with oh, the thorns. Oh, he gets up and he doesn't get grabbed. GWJ, a thorn in the side of Jet right now. Now and that only just now loses the first stop. Right, that stop, like he could have been sitting at 20 right now, but he yeah. missed. Like he, he was off by a couple of frames, and now he's at 103. Well shielded, oh, and wow. again with that foot. Wow, just catching him with the forward smash. Yeah. At 54%, obviously, he's not gonna send Rob flying, but but it's, it's like a, it's, it's so much like it's so much mileage on the way to like probably another probably another clothesline. Yeah, well, it's going to wind up being anyway. But he's he can't approach with it. Yeah. He doesn't have the speed to close down that uh close down that gap and yeah he's he hasn't been able to connect with it much at all i mean he's had and to approach and connect with if anything that darkest lariat neutral base. yeah and you're seeing you're seeing a lot of just jumping coming out from from uh from jet but as you just saw right there gwj has a perfect answer for that with the up air like if you jump near him rob has anti-airs no you're rob right rob has anti-airs that are probably better than any of uh incinerator's landing options I mean, it's not like you can just mess around when you have that neutral air. No, no, yeah. Now. Oh, oh that is it. WJ. Closing it out with a two three stock. To nil. 
and three consecutive two stocks are how GWJ earns his shot at revenge against Shoyo James. Wow. Folks, 